Hello everybody, my name is Danny, and today I'd like to show you how to unlock a superpower inside of Framer. This is something a lot of people don't know how to do, and I'm happy enough to be able to share this with you guys today because I think it's a really exciting capability within Framer that's gonna unlock a lot of possibilities. So as you can see here, I'm just inside of a regular Framer file, but some of the things that I'm able to do here are just not possible within the interface or the canvas itself. So what is it? These are something called Framer Overrides. So this allows you to inject a very simple code snippet into your file, and then you can unlock some different possibilities. So here you can see I have a confetti animation. Um, you would have a really tough time doing this with variants. Um, I also have this wobble on hover. Some of these things can be done, with um, just the interface and variants and things like that. And that's one of the things I wanna talk about because just because you can, doesn't mean you should. So inside of Framer, a lot of the times there's ways to do very simple things like making your button scale on hover. As you can see here, I have a very simple hover and then a scale. But if you wanted to apply that to cards, buttons, all these different things, it would be very hacky and you'd be using a lot of redundant variables and variants. So the easy way to do this is just copy and paste a code snippet, and there you go. And I'll show you that right now. So let's go into another page that I have here called Home. I've kind of imitated Momentum, if you're familiar with the Chrome extension. And basically what this allows me to do is input some different variables that allow me to override the content I have here on the page. So I have here, you can see time, date, quote. What does that mean? Let's take a look. So you'll see as I play this, or as I make this live, I can see my current time, which is 3.08 p.m. Now it's 3.09 p.m., uh, April 26. So this is real information being transmitted into my design file. And to take it even further, I can make any adjustments here that I want. So let's say, I want a different font. Quickly go to play and you'll see that it updates right there on the canvas and in my live file. So in order to accomplish this, there is a tool that I've created called Framer Overrides that allows you to copy and paste different code snippets to unlock these functionalities. Um, several of them are freebies and some of them you can buy the package to get all of them. Um, and then once you have those code snippets, whether it's a free one or one that you've purchased, all you have to do, I'll show you right now, is copy and paste. So let's say we have um, another code snippet that we want to add. So let's say we want to add confetti to this page. I'll just go over and copy a code snippet real quick. And now I'm going to come in here, draw out a frame, and I'm going to add a code override. Now I'll just create a new one and we'll call it confetti for now, click create. And now Framer is going to give you their idea of an example file. And then we'll just delete that, press command V to paste. And now I'll just press command S to save that. And now I'm just going to apply it to this frame. So I'll call it confetti with confetti effect. I can get rid of the fill. And now very simply, I can just drop this into my file, just like that and I'll even just center it to make sure it's where I want it. And then I'll press play, and you can see as I tap, I have a confetti effect. So this is really not possible without these code overrides, but once you have them, you can see I just did that in seconds. Um, and that's because Framer uses React and React code. So if you're familiar with writing React, then you can just import your own overrides using this simple method that I've showed you here today. If you guys found this useful, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.